relaxing even more in your heart. So today I want to share you a little bit about some drops I had about quantum leaps and about transformation. And interestingly, this drop came by because today is end of April. So because it's end of April, I was uh, with the every, you know, every rising, every morning, we always have a sea circle. And in the sea circle, we were discussing about, um, yeah, what new revelation did I have for this month? So maybe for the Facebook people, the Instagram people, yeah, what was your revelation that you had for April? What new insights did you have for this month? And just a little thing that I want to share. When we honor time, we honor our life. And we can give that honor, that reverence by actually reflect it, reflecting our life. Reflecting what was the blessing of, from this month. And what was the blessing from, yeah, from your life. So today, as I was... Um, yeah, today when I was looking through my blessing from this, from this month, I had a drop, yeah, about quantum leaps. Mm, you look great. I would appreciate it if you actually would look at me from a heart-to-heart -heart connection. So, um, hmm. Yeah, so regarding about the quantum leaps, yeah, quantum leaps. I had, a, I had this drop. You can only have this quantum leap if you have emotional safety. And what do I mean by quantum leap? It's by going into another consciousness to a higher consciousness, yeah? So quantum leap is going from one consciousness to another consciousness. And you can only have that quantum leap when you feel emotional safety in your body, when you feel safe. Because, not, because if you don't feel safe in your body, you won't be able to shift <laughs> your life. You won't be able to take that leap because in a way you would have that resistance. Hey, hey Rob, wow. Um, hey Akane-chan. Yeah, the emotional safety is so important. And how I realized this is because today I was having a conversation with my beloved um, hero. And there's a part of me like, you know, I want him to change. There's the part like, uh, so he helps out with my business. And there's always like, I give the same feedback and it just doesn't really happen in a way I want to things to happen. And we were discussing about why and it's because he doesn't feel safe when he's receiving feedbacks. And again, as I shared this in my other video, this is because we have an inner child who is still wounded. And it's not just hero, everyone in the world has it. You have it too. It's just that you don't realize it. And we can only realize it when, you, when we go deep within, yeah? And how to go deep within is I share this in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And also I'll be sharing a group container from June. It's called Self-Devotion Journey. And unless we devote to ourselves, we will never know because it's all in our subconscious mind. Oh, thank you, Rob. And I'm so proud of you too for outputting so much of your journey. Mm. And going back, so Hero doesn't, did it not feel safe when he was receiving feedbacks. And I'm like, I had this drop. Wow, we get only quantum leap when we feel emotionally safe. Because in a way, in GI, I shared this concept. Our body is like a time traveling bodysuit. If we don't take care of this time traveling bodysuit, we, we won't be able to go. You know what I mean? So I was like, wow. Yeah, and the reason why I say I call this body a time traveling bodysuit is because it literally is. <laughs> Let's say that you're thinking about your past and you feel really sad. 
even if it's not happening right now, you feel sad. It is because in a way, your consciousness is traveling to your past and you are re-experiencing your past. Yeah, so this body is literally a time traveling bodysuit. And with your intention, you literally are time traveling. So when you're actually visualizing about your future, you're not just visualizing, you are there. Yeah. Mm. So it's so important for us to feel safe in our body in order for us to experience this quantum leap. And I know for a fact that even for me, when I had the quantum leap, it's because I was fully able to feel safe in myself. Yeah, and I remember one of the quantum leap was when I started studying psychology, neurolinguistic programming, because that was the first time I had the space for me to open up and share about my pain, share about my past, share safely about what I went through. And because I had that safety, I was able to be vulnerable, I was able to open up. And that is when I had a, like, I had a space you know, that stagnant energy became so open and that's where my quantum leap like opened up. And this is why I share in my self-devotion journey how to feel safe in your body. And this safety, it's not something that I can give you in this live. It's something like to have interactive experience with. Mm. Oh, Kane-chan, sticky, thank you. This is what I need to feel this morning. Mm. Yeah, that safety is so important. And whenever you're feeling depleted, when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling angry, irritated, or anything that is not aligned in a higher fre frequency, it's because, it's because you did not hold space for yourself. You did not hold space for yourself. Holding space means creating that safety within. In GIE, we call this sacred ceremony space. The reason why I call it the sacred ceremony space is because we honor our emotion, because all our emotion is part of us. A lot of times, our inner society, we are taught to abandon our emotion, which is part of us. Most of my clients who come to me, they're like, I don't want to fucking feel this sadness. I don't want to feel this loneliness. So do something, help me. But no, that's not how life works. That's not why we're here on earth. We're here on earth to feel. We're here on earth to, to be a human, which is to feel everything. And the moment we invite all emotion to be part of our experience, that's when the quantum leap happens. Who can resonate with me on this? I'm pretty sure when you're resisting your emotion, when you're abandoning your emotion, which is a lot of times unconscious, you are stagnant. Nothing in life is happening. Mm. Thank you for your loving support. I'm so happy. And this is why it's so important to go deep within, to devote to yourself. Devote. Kenshin suru. So, 6月に6月から I'm gonna be um, having a group container about how to devote to yourself. How to see yourself as a divine goddess or God. And in this journey, we delve more into the sacred divine feminine path. Because I realize, yeah, this path helps us to feel safe within ourselves, which opens up to so many portals, which opens up to your path to your higher self, which helps you to align yourself. And when you feel this alignment with yourself, which means yourself and with source, you're in full alignment, meaning that all the creativity, it flows through you. You never feel depleted. You never feel like tired because you're connected to source. 
and life just flows. And when you take action from that space, you like you're just magnetic and you just receive so much wealth as well. Hmm. So yeah. Hmm. So that's what I wanted to share. Oh, and also another job that I wanted to share is about this word transformation. Transformation. Many people ask me, how do I transform? First, create that safety within. And we don't know how to create that safety within because we're so used to not feeling safe and not knowing what to do. Who can feel this? And this is all like you never, you don't know that you don't feel safe. <laughs> so it's really, really funny. Anyhow, so how can I change? Create that safety within to transform. I really love this. Transform. Trans means go beyond. Form is katachi. In a way, I see it transform as energy weaving. Like, so transform literally means for me, transforming your past transforming your future and transforming your here and now so for me transform is quantum leap you're changing your form beyond time and space and this is why you experience different reality mm. for me i remember when i had so much pain toward my dad before I didn't even know I had so much anger, so much sadness, and it's so interesting. Like, I still remember when I first went to Bali, like, Bali, this guy that I just met, he saw me in the cafe, and literally he comes and just tell me, Lynn, you can forgive your father. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, that was my second day in Bali. Like, literally, well, second day slash first day of first time having dinner in Bali. And this guy just literally comes up to me and just tells me, his first word to me was, Lynn, forgive your father. He did not do anything wrong. Wow, right? And... Hmm, and that inner journey of accepting my father, loving my father. And I was able to shift through that. Now my past with him changed. I'm like, I started to remember all the times that was good memory with him, that I had good memory with him. Because I was able to feel safe in my body to shift quantum leap. And now I don't ha I'm not attached to that timeline where I felt I was hurt by my father. And this all is possible when you start to feel safety in your body, when you start to walk your feminine divine path. And this is what I share in my sacred, no, self-devotion journey from June. Hmm. And the information about this journey is in my website. So if you're interested, please let me know. I also do one on one mentorship journey because I know some people like group Jayada Mitaina. So that's where I give uh, emo uh, one on one mentorship as well. All right, that's what I wanted to share actually. I felt, yeah, emotional safety is so important. Uh, reading the comments. Oh, wow, I love how you word it. So, you can never change overnight. <laughs> Today, thank you, Lin san. Today is also. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you, Akane san, for tuning in with me. I'll see you soon, maybe. And I hope you enjoy this beautiful weather. So thank you for having this shiawase time with me. I love you so, so much. Thank you.
Bye.